So welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about a $400 gaming PC with the Pentium G4560 and Nvidia's GTX 1050 Ti. If you want to find out more, then keep watching. So hey guys, this is Team Overclocked with a new PC build guide. To start off, how will this $400 PC perform in games? In most AAA titles like GTA 5 and Fallout 4, you should be able to game at 1080p high to ultra settings across the board with very nice frame rates. If you want to play lighter games like Dota 2 or League of Legends, you can run those at 1080p max at past 60fps as well, and you can also run those games at 1440p and 4K, although you will have to drop the settings a bit to get around 60fps. If you want to check this PC out, there's a PC part picker link down below, so click that if you're interested. But with that out of the way, let's dive right into the PC itself. For the CPU, we have the popular Intel Pentium G4560. Now you might be thinking, how can a Pentium be good for gaming in 2017? Well, this Pentium has two cable-like base cores and hyper-threading, so it comes with four threads and is going to perform very similarly to the more expensive i3. The four threads on this are going to be perfect for gaming at 1080p, which is what most of you guys want to play at. This is also clocked at 3.5GHz and is not overclockable, but that's not a big problem since the stock clock speed is good enough for gaming. For the motherboard, we have the Gigabyte GA B250 DS3H for $63. Now this isn't a bad motherboard for the price. With this, you get 4 RAM slots and a USB 3 header. It also has 6 SATA ports and an M.2 slot, which should cover your storage needs. The B250 chipset on this also has native cable support, so you don't need any BIOS updates to get the cable CPU running. For the RAM, we have the G-Skill Aegis 8GB set for $54. Now this is a pretty standard DDR4 RAM kit that comes clocked at 2133 MHz. Choosing RAM isn't too hard these days since 8GB is a sweet spot for gaming. Content creators might want 16GB, but the high RAM prices recently have made that a luxury item. For the hard drive, we have the Seagate Barracuda 1TB for $43. Now this is a 3.5 inch drive that spins at 7200 RPM and has 64 megabytes of cache. Now these specs are pretty standard in the hard drive market and should translate into decent boot times and read and write speeds. The massive one terabyte capacity on this is going to be enough for all of your games, movies and media files which makes this an incredible bang for the buck storage solution. For the GPU, we have the EVGA GTX 1050Ti for $120. The 1050Ti has received some price cuts recently, which makes this a great entry-level video card. Now this model has a pretty good dual fan cooler and is clocked at 1.5GHz, which is pretty fast. The 4GB frame buffer on this is going to be a good amount for 1080p gaming, which is what most gamers are looking to play at. Speaking of gaming performance, this is capable of playing games at a mix of high to ultra settings at 1080p and can easily play lighter games like League of Legends and Dota 2 at 1440p and 4K, which makes this the perfect GPU for the system. For the case, we have the Cougar MX200 for $33. Cougar makes some great entry level cases and this is no exception. With this case, you get a red LED fan up front, as well as some cable management holes and a ventilated side panel. The front I.O. on this has two USB ports along with a set of audio jacks, which should suit the needs of most users. All around, this is a great case that it couldn't pass up. For the power supply, we have the EVGA 430 for $24. This is a high quality power supply from EVGA that's 80 plus rated. Cheaping out on a power supply can easily kill your entire PC, so having a high quality one like this one is important. Although this isn't modular and it doesn't have the highest wattage out there, this does have room for upgrades and overclocking, so I think it fits this build perfectly. Once again, if you want to check this out, there's going to be a PC parts picker link down below, so click that if you're interested. 
But anyways guys, that's all for today. If you liked the video, please be sure to overclock the like button if you didn't like it. Please dislike this video and subscribe for more content like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one.